Hello there, Erner here, and today we are going to review Athena roster. So we are starting with Menesteus, um, good hero who can make all your units around much faster. Is able to buff with a lot of units, but they need to be aware of his low defense. So avoid dueling and but feel free to charge to enemy units. Let's walk through the his unit roster through this path. We are starting with the Islanders. These Islanders are standard fodder. They are very unique, very good ability unspotable means that they are right now hidden from enemy sides because they are not moving. Otherwise, they are the weakest infantry in the game. Next, we have a good old or young, <laughs> young spears. These guys, good weapon, good charge, solid stats. They are perfect at dwelling in early game. Highly recommend. Following this path, we got the Athenian Coastal Watch, which is a very interesting frontline. Uh, not because they are slightly more offensive, uh, but uh, they have two things that makes them better. First is the Kentaurian Wedge. They are able to charge better. Uh, but you can see they have very low charge. So this uh, front line needs to switch weapon or put their shields on back like this. And now they are having a quite good charge and finally better weapon. Uh, so you can maneuver with this better. And in the correct moment you make the wedge formation for slightly more charge and better charging speed. Uh, this front line is a flanker or charger, but you need to be very active and situational when to use wedge formation and when you switch weapons. You can transform this charger into front line. And this is all during early game. Next we have the sword skirmisher. Just like at Ithaca, they can vanguard deploy and start skirmishing with javelins. Pretty uh, interesting web, uh, unit. They might be quite weak in, in terms of melee and HP, but their vanguard and skirmishing power makes for it. Spears. Then next unit we have the Athenian youths, which are our front line. They have solid defense attack and you will have to use the expert charge defense to negate enemy charges. Uh, so, while your spears are running around, these guys are going to be your front line. And with Athena, very unique, you need to use swords as front line and use spears not as a front line. We continue on this path. We got the standard missile unit, archers. It's not recommended to use these guys as they are quite weak. Uh, low range and low missile damage. Next we have standard skirmishers. Um, well, early game skirmishers, what to say about them? Quite fast, okay range, some damage. Uh, instead, I would recommend using Athenian Hunters. They are very similar, but faster. And they can throw javelins while they are running. They are much better at hunting and chasing enemy units. Okay, now let's go to the mid-game units. Uh, from the port a building, we can recruit Island Club Warriors. These guys have the unspotable. As long as they are not moving, they are not visible. They are very good against lower tier units, as their weapon is very strong against them. 
So they are trading very well with cheap units. Another standard unit is Light Spearmen. You can use these uh, as well. Uh, nothing much to say about them. For a mid game unit, they are slightly weaker, but they are also cheaper for that regard. Next, more offensive frontline spear, we have the Athenian Light Spearmen. Uh, they have much more attack, as you can see, and HP and armor. They are much more valuable. But compared to the standard spear front lines, these don't have enough uh, defense. As you have seen in the er early game, these guys can put shields on the back, get their charge, get their speed, and when you are in the good position, you can make the wedge formation for more charge and more damage on impact. They are very there are 50 attack, wow, that's pretty strong. Yeah, these guys are your YOLO option. For the actual front line, we got Athenian Marines, which have uh, improved defense. They are able to hold much better. And you can see the javelins. You need to use javelins without moving. These uh, marines like to stand still, hold the crown and throw javelins when they are not moving. So again, with Athena you need to get used to it. it every other faction has this different. For some good missiles, we finally good uh, have the Athenian archers. We have Stalk, Archers, good damage and range. This is well recommended unit for your battles. Enemy will not see this coming. And for Javelins, these guys have um, much better missile damage. They also can uh, throw Javelins while they run, which makes them very good at hunting or chasing and catching up the enemy missiles as well. Pretty good unit in overall. Athena it. has access to the melee chariots. These are standard good chariots. Always pair them with your unique charging spears. And if you want to skirmish, which I do not recommend, but you have this option as well. Um, these guys are having quite strong damage, even though they have quite few models. So, let's move to the late game. In late game we got a quite fine Etienne Eupatridae. This front line, this, th you know, this is not a front line. This is going to be our flanker and kill line. Let me show you, yeah, they have decent standard weapon and good enough defense, but we want to see their shields on deck. With 53 attack, 41 speed is pretty good for medium tier, very nice weapon damage, 28 charge, let's boost our charge even more, you can use these very well if you find a very nice flanking opportunity. After the charge is done, you will deactivate so you can hold ground better. For holding ground, we got Companions of Menesteus. These guys are one of the best swords in the game. Uh, they have amazing stats and strong weapon. And one of very few units, they are immune to flanking. But again, you need to stand still uh, to utilize this charge defense. Because many enemy units will have a higher charge. Uh, but you can be sure, these, un these guys will hold and they will last. They are just like Hector's Chosen. 
but from Athena. Next we have Master, Master Skirmishers. Uh, they have slightly stronger Javelin and having pretty good s sword. So one, once you run out of ammunition, which is more than average, they are quite okay for a melee fighting. Again, they, they can shoot while moving, which is very handy. And let's move on to the late game archers. They also have stalk, so enemy will not see them coming. And you will need to use this stalk and terrain to protect them, otherwise they are quite squishy. One new ability, or you can remember this from Hippolyta roster, is the volley ability. This gives them ability to shoot far away. For example here. And they are going to shoot and onto the target location. Because it has 200 meters, they are able to outrange enemy units. And this makes them more than just stalky uh, bowmen. Alright. Next, as a key and faction, we got the reinforced chariots, standard melee chariots. Pretty good, I recommend using them. Uh, to be just like Ithaca, we also have reinforced skirmish chariots. And you already see that this roster is very versatile, and also there is some innovation in, in the units. So it's fine to have these. Uh, options as well. And very last, another unique unit is Mercenary City and Horse Archers. Uh, you can recruit these uh, mercenaries from the top tier building and they are perfect for skirmishing uh, against enemy chariots or any other units. Apart from OK range and very good damage and nice speed. They have one extra ability, Centurion Circle, which is absolutely perfect for skirmishing. Enemy will waste so much ammunition against you, uh, the arrows will hit, uh, miss them most of the time, and you are able to increase your range and reload. On the you are this is <coughs> this is perfect for skirmishing so so how would you play your units you will bring your sword companions that's your front line remember swords are your front line in this game you usually want to start with shields on the back and you will be maneuvering around so they are fast enough and when when you flank around you will be able to switch to the wedge formation meanwhile your archers and javelins are also your flankers uh, one you can use archers for a long range i have shown it to you, but you can utilize the stalk for some good flanking. And if you are going to charge, I highly recommend starting this. Be sure to charge, and they will very nicely deal a lot of damage. You can bring chariots up to you, and the horse archers. I would recommend having maximum one of them, you don't need more. So that's pretty much it and I hope you will love the Athena gameplay. That is all, see you later.